put your name on it. Just put your name on it. That's all I say. Be a man or woman. Put your name on it. Oh, I'd like to hear about it, potheads. How the fuck you gonna know how to be great if you don't study greatness? Look at the game change. Donuts. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, you're not a bad little man, Mr. Gals. But you are, Blanche. You are in that chair. There's something wrong with us. Something very, very wrong with us. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Brad Williams, the guest on More Stories, and uh, it's always funny, like, we talk supernatural before we start. <laughs> I love that you go right to supernatural with the dwarf in the audience. Love it. Let's do it. <laughs> no, I mean, we talk natural off mic, mm -hmm. and then every time I get the point in from Angie or from Matthew, I'm like, all right, welcome to Mo I'm like a Z Morning Zoo radio Okay, guy. like, hey, everybody, 98.9. Brad Come Williams, uh, this is Tuesday. What we like to do is uh, it's uh, Touch Your Crank Tuesday. <laughs> Your uh, your uh, morning DJ sounds exactly like Harry Carey. Hey, <laughs> hey, everybody! Why do you Photoshop a picture of me on the Atlas Horseman? <laughs> that would be funny. It'll all be up on our Facebook page of the zoo. You can poke me. All right. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We gotta get some more foxy interns in here. They are hot. We had that other guy in turn. We made him eat vomit out of the garbage bin. But it's nothing like female company at 5 a.m. It's great. I'm old. I can grab her ass and I just blame it on diabetes. Said I was trying to get some sugar. I'm trying, hey. to, figure, I'm trying to figure out who you sound like because it ain't Harry Carey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, 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 it's Harry Carey like right as he's dying. His last that. words? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, Harry Carey on his deathbed. And what uh, what can we do, Papa? I tell you. <laughs> you what does he sound like? It's making me nuts. <laughs> just just let me die. Just let me go ahead and go to the white light. I can play baseball with with God and Jesus. It'll be great. Jesus can't throw the curve. Okay, Mr. Garrison from South Park. <laughs> Mr. Garrison? Oh. Okay. You can go to hell. You can oh, go that guy. Okay, I I was. Is that Mr. Garrison? I was, yeah, I was mistaking you for Mackie. The the okay. Yeah, it's no, he definitely didn't sound like him. <laughs> yeah. uh, you've been talked about on this podcast uh, as much as anybody, but you actually know it, and you'll text me like, hey, man, thanks. Because you, you, yeah, were, listen. The, you were the at, well, you listen, sure, but also you were the at, you uh, uh, telling the audience, you were the guy, Brad Williams, he's here finally in mm -hmm. person. We did a live one, which is fun as fuck. Oh, top, and, top five celebrity endorsements. Yeah. Earl Campbell won for Earl, Skull. Earl, that's up on the Tumblr page on my uh, Twitter, at jmore37, at Brad Williams. Uh, at Funny Brad. Brad Williams is some lawyer in South Carolina that won't give it up. Ass. You know, I'm playing College of Charleston. I think I could knock on his door and just headbutt his face. And be <laughs> Let's like, do it. Keep it up. Chad Johnson him. And he'll be so confused <laughs> to what's happening. And I'll be like, why is the dude from Jerry Maguire headbutting me? <laughs> give up your Twitter handle. <laughs> and he's like, take all the money you need. I'm mad at you for money. What, do I look like a criminal? Exactly. Hey, <laughs> if Twitter was around when I was alive, I'd tweet things like, Cubs win! <laughs> and tough day at the ballpark. Uh, you absolutely destroyed April Foolishness. Um, yeah, it was fun. And you, you prepared to crush April Foolishness. I did, because that was a show that I literally had planned like two years before that. I had set a goal to be on that show. And, like, I was going to do whatever I could to accomplish it. So I'd li literally been planning that that set for two years. And practiced it two weeks before. Was going up at the Laugh Factory and going up at the Improv. And I had my April Foolishness set that I, that I was going to do. And, you know, it's it's 4,000 people. So I, I wanted to make sure it was tight. I didn't want to go up there and stutter. It was one of those sets where it was me, Eddie F., Jim Jeffries, and the uh, TV director, Peter O'Fallon, who directed mm -hmm. Suicide Kings, were up, like, way up at the uh, Gibson Amphitheater up Holy in the Holy crap, how tiny did I look from up there? You look pretty <laughs> tiny. You look pretty small. Yeah. Uh, it didn't help that you were standing in front of the band who were up on a riser. <laughs> right. So we just made believe that the band were, like, all seven-footers. So that was, the, <laughs> that was the gag. And we all just get, like, you would kill so hard and get, like, a crazy-ass... 
like almost black audience response. And we'd <laughs> okay. be like, we're all saying to each other, just go up the stage, go up the stage, go up the stage. Because we're like, there's no way you're going to match that. And you kept matching it and matching it. Well, because I, I knew what I still had. You still had that you were going to do a stripper dance for Lisa May from K-Rock. Yeah. And I, I knew I had that. Like I, like I knew I still had that pitch to throw that no one can hit. So I like, I, I was just, I was, I was just chambering that one. Well, yeah, no, we can hit it. It just, when yeah. we do it, it's rape. <laughs> When you do it, you go, oh, the midget does it. It's cute. The midget's <laughs> shaking his designer jean ass in Lisa May's face. She's so mortified. Like, I can't go up there and put my cock in Lisa May's ear. People will be like, that's not funny at all. <laughs> not funny. I'm so, is HR at April Foolishness? Uh, I, I love doing that because that's one of the things, and I used to talk about it in my stand-up back, but, that, but that's something I've noticed that as a little person, I get away with stuff that's just, like, cause I'm fucking adorable. And when, when, when you're adorable, you're not a threat. So you, you just go up and start grabbing ass. It's great. You know what's adorable, Brad? What's uh, that? stamps.com. It Technology has simplified the way we handle everyday tasks. Like, uh, you banking? You don't walk into the bank anymore. There's a machine on the side of the bank. Or you can do it online. Uh, there's no need for a bank teller whatsoever. Same goes for sending out your letters and packages. Do everything from your desk. With Stamps.com. No need to waste your time at the post office anymore. You don't have to drive there, go there. Stamps.com. It's easy to use. It's so convenient. A buy and print official U.S. postage using your own computer and printer. You get exact postage for any letter or package. Do you hear me? Any. You could mail a damn ocelot to New Zealand uh, with Hello Kitty stickers on its ass. And, uh, st- uh, you, uh, you know, stamps.com has you covered 24 seven. You are the man. You control it all. Uh, just hand it to your letter carrier and they'll take it from there. When I say you'll never have to go to the post office again, I really mean it. You never will have to go to the post office again. I use stamps.com. We use it here at fake mustache studios. Uh, pretty much the whole fake mustache studio crew uses it. Special offer right now. Use my last name, more M O H R for this special Special offer, no risk trial, $110 bonus offer. I mean, that's cool. $110 in your pocket includes a digital scale. You can weigh Coke on that. And up to 55 and then mail it. There you go. Free postage. <laughs> but don't mail the scale with the Coke because you get busted for distribution, not just possession. I've heard. You, you, you've studied. Call to action. Do it. I'm calling you to action. Don't wait. Go to stamps.com before you do anything else. Click the radio microphone at the top of the home page, and then look. I get credit if you type in M O H R stamps dot com. Enter the code more. Uh, Brad Williams, you should know out there, America. How tall are you? Four foot four. Um, you know what I'm which gonna say? Fifty two look- inches, which is two inches below what a lot of roller coasters are. Universal Hollywood or Universal Orlando could go fuck itself. Does that bother you a lot? Uh, you're yeah. grown, like you're a grown man. Yeah, like it, I get into so many arguments. I w- I did the Orlando Improv a few weeks you're ago. Fucking at 35 years old, you can't go on a goddamn ride. <laughs> it sucks. It's humiliating. It's it, like, and you literally have kids that are on like HGH or something. Like like some, no, Brad, like Stallone's just, kids are walking up. Don't don't slam the children of this world that they're aren't seven. Agents. They're seven, Jay. Yeah, and they're and regular they're size going... seven year olds. And That's you're not a guy, regular. You have uh, and what would you call it? Uh, a chondroplastic dwarfism. <laughs> I mean, is it? A called an affliction is it called it's not an eh. illness no it's a it's a condition well the government says i'm disabled so let's just go with you disability. have a disability yeah thank you yeah uh and so you can't go on uh raiders of the lost ark ah, haunted it, mansion oh it, it, i can do like haunted mansion stuff just like coasters that have like a lot of loops they usually have like a 54 inch high uh, high requirement i try to wear the nike shocks which <laughs> which gives me like when do you get lifts it's so simple brad <laughs> just like the tom cruise lifts or the ones you got in your fucking car pedals. <laughs> I, just, I, I do have uh, just, special pedals, which is awesome in, in L.A. Because whenever I pull up the valet, they just look right, <laughs> they, they just look right down the car and go, nope. <laughs> you have to park your own car? I park my own car. Uh, you should take those pedals off your gas and brake and then strap them to your feet. Well, hear me out. And then when you're in the park, you just clip clop your way up to the front. <laughs> I'm not gonna get it out. I'm looking at Matthew laughing because I knew he was gonna laugh at you going up like a damn Clydesdale. I know. They, 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 like, <laughs> do we have Budweiser coming our way? Yeah. Oh no, it's the midget trying to get on the ride. <laughs> like, look, buddy, we told you. Um, 
<laughs> but I don't know with your head. I don't know if roller coasters are a good idea. Like you might actually snap your head off. I know. I got because you have a regular head. sized, a he- big he- Bruce Bochy head. I have a big ass head. Like, you also have a. Uh, we learned from the live podcast. Uh-huh. You have a big dick. <laughs> and for the listeners that listen uh, and compare uh, proportionally, right? You have an enormous dick. Yeah, you have like a five inch dick. <laughs> but on but a guy on, that, me, on a four foot man, it's massive. It is your Johnny I, Horsecock. I can literally say it hangs down to my knee, and it's not an exaggeration. Yeah, <laughs> but the knee is uh, like yeah, five inches. And what the listener hip. needs to know about Brad Williams and follow him at Funny Brad. Yeah, Funny Brad at Funny Brad. Mm-hmm. That's it at Funny Brad. That's it. No numbers. No numbers. Uh, he uh, crushes ass <laughs> like at a carrot top level. <laughs> <laughs> that's way inside. That's, that I just painted the black on the inside corner. Like, <laughs> only comics are laughing at that. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, I, oh no, you I do know. know. Oh, because I and went you to, tell the listeners because you talk more than me. Yeah, you know, that, uh, I, I that yours or mine. I did a gig in uh, Reno, Nevada, and in the audience was Dennis Hoff from the uh, from the uh, Bunny Ranch, and he invited me to come out. So I did. He, he and he said w- whatever you want on the menu. It, it's free. I always hook up comics. I was like, what you like comics? Like a lot of guys come here. They're like, K- carrot top rented a place in the back. He was here for a month. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Of course. But yeah, that's just, that's just hearsay. I wish Dennis Hoff was from planet Hoff. <laughs> and his favorite actor was Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff. Yeah. So Perfect. you went, so wait, there's a valuable piece of information. They got left. First of all, uh, carrot top. We're mm. not mocking him. No, we stand in awe at the fact that he gets admiring. so much ass. Yeah. Um, and my wife is obsessed with this. She goes, "How m- his real name's Scott. How much how much pussy does he really get?" And I go, <laughs> like even though I've said it 40 times, she has yeah. to reset it like uh I don't know, once every 2 months. She'll just lean over in bed and go, "Okay, seriously, honey, carrot top, <laughs> Scott, like he's done with the show. What happens?" I go, "Okay. I can only surmise it as such. If it's not two at a time, it doesn't really interest him. <laughs> and for some reason, he ha- he's like Tony Gwynn. He doesn't ever not put the bat on the ball. Right. He, 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 w- he will make contact. Home runs rare, but he's always making contact. He just crushes yeah. ass. But Brad Williams crushes ass. Well, you left Brea when you were with me and Brea doing yeah. the live podcast. It was me, you, and Tom Segura. Right. And you're like, all right, guys, I'll see you later. And your whole uh, time – not your whole time. You spent a lot of time talking about how – you call us reachers, mm-hmm. uh, like it's like a fantasy or a, a fetish. They get to check off their list. Like, before yeah. I die, I want to fuck a midget. Yeah. And you're like, all right, guys, I'll see you later. <laughs> He's leaving with a fucking, like an emo chick with like big <laughs> boobs and a gingham dress and like fucking Marilyn Manson tattoos on her neck. I'm like, this guy's crushing ass tonight. Yeah. It, it, it's it, here. Here's what it is. Is it's kind of like what we were talking about before about the same reason why I get away with stuff is I'm not threatening. So, like, women feel safe with me. So, like, they know that any time during whatever we're doing, if they want to stop it, they can, and I can't do anything about it. Like, like you they, got, you're a strong guy. Well, that's what they don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's so how I've raped my last 11 partners. <laughs> now, we're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll talk uh, the difference between legitimate rape and statutory rape with Brad Williams. <laughs> Thank you, Congressman. This has, been, this has been Rape Chat with Brad Williams. <laughs> Why isn't there a podcast called Rape Chat? Uh, uh, you think that'll go? Think that'll go well? I don't know. I mean, it's worth a try. I mean, there's enough podcast. There's every other podcast right? out there. You're starting up a new podcast now? Yeah. Well, we had one, and then we just switched networks. Uh, my podcast is called About Last Night, and okay. uh, same we, partner. Uh, yeah, uh, Adam Ray, who just got into a movie with Sandra Bullock. He's got lines and everything. Sandy's cool, man. Yeah. Does he have any lines with her? Yes. He actually uh, motorboats her in one scene. Tell him to tell her because she was on action. Oh, okay. I, uh, she was – I mean if he cares to say hi for me. Mm-hmm. No, he will. Um, she was super cool. She's one of those chicks like – I never got it. You watch her in movies and you're like, mm-hmm. I don't get what this – and then when you meet her in person – it's you're it's like, like oh. a guy on your softball team with yeah. a vagina, and you're like, <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah, like, uh, and she is pretty in person. Yeah, and Adam would tell me stories that she would actually because the movie was filmed in Boston, and Adam would go do sets at night after they were done shooting, and she would go to the comedy clubs and just hang out with Adam and watch. Did set. she bring really? Satchmo, her baby? Oh, <laughs> Satchmo. <laughs> 
Because the baby's black. Oh my god. Such a <laughs> Oh, well played, Jay Moore. That's not why I called him Satchmo. <laughs> what? Am I, am I not getting the joke? <laughs> no, I'm trying to back out of it. Okay. <laughs> His name is Louie. <laughs> it's like Cotton Sajmo. Right. Wait, her baby's black? <laughs> you know? Oh my god, what the H? <laughs>